In the western corner of the United States lies an area where red curbs are an indigenous species to the harsh concrete environment. Southern California not only is the home of these beautiful red curbs, but also boasts sunshine year-round, which makes the absolute perfect climate for year-round skateboarding. Join me today as I hunt down some of the best red curbs Southern California has to offer. So turn up the volume, crack a cold one, sit back and enjoy the show. Now the best place to find one of these buggers are tucked away behind your local grocery store or supermarket, out of the way of the public eye and out of the way of any individual that may frequent the area. Wow guys, have a look at this bloody beautiful thing. Alright guys, so this particular curb is conveniently tucked away behind my local Sated Brothers Market. Now despite the trouble we may get into with the local store owners, I'm going to attempt to get a few tricks on this bloody beautiful curb. Not only does California sport its natural habitat vast of red curves, it actually has quite a lot of urban terrain you can use at your dispense for skateboarding. Crikey guys, that one took me a minute. Now when you're skating out here in the wild, you kind of got to get what you can get and get out of there. Because we are in wild habitat. We are unsure that the store owners, they could pop their head out at any second. So we're on a time crunch here guys, let's keep it moving. Crikey guys, we've come across a wild plugger out of its natural habitat. Now these pluggers, as you Yanks might call them, flip flops, in Australia they're called thongs or pluggers. I'm going to leave it be and we're going to move on guys. Alright guys, so out in the wild sometimes you will come across a curve that's been tagged. As you can see, these skate stoppers were placed here to stop skateboarders from skating these curves. Now, there's nothing we can do. These have been done as a ploy from the store owners to pe keep people from skating in the front of their store. So we just got to move on. Crikey, look at the size of this fella right here. Now as you can see, this curb has been skated through and through. You can see by the paint wearing down and... Yep, that's wax. Skateboarders have already been here. This curb has been skated. And uh, yeah, what a beauty to find here in Southern California. This is probably the biggest curb I've ever encountered in Southern California. Look at the size of it, guys. You just don't see these types of curbs anywhere else in the world but Southern California. So I'm going to rip into it. Now the best place to find one of these buggers are tucked behind what? Keep it moving around. 
behind your local grocery store or supermarket, tucked away from it. Fuck. Make sure your shirt is like tucked in. No, the shirt, it, like, it looks like you don't have a waist. They've put these here, they've placed them there so people can't skate them. There's nothing we can do about it but just to move on. We'll leave it in its natural habitat and uh... <laughs> Go. Shame. Before this video ends guys, I just wanted to say no disrespect or shame towards Steve Irwin. He's a national icon. I just thought with me being an Aussie, I could legally do a parody of Steve Irwin without copying too much backlash, but I guess we will see. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I figured I'd kind of show a little bit of my sense of humor on the channel like i feel like i have a pretty good sense of humor i often don't show it but yeah if you guys like this video let me know maybe i'll make some more kind of funny humorous entertaining hopefully engaging content for you guys but yeah i guess what i'm trying to say is i'm trying to kind of do more than just skateboarding on my channel i know that's why a lot of you guys have been watching my channel is to see skateboarding along with the DIY build stuff, which is cool. I enjoy that, but I wanna kinda broaden the horizon for my channel. Cause I don't wanna kinda be stuck as a one trick pony, if that makes sense. Like I watch other YouTubers and I see them get more creative and it's fun. And doing these kinds of videos takes me back to like year 10 photography. And we'd go out and write a little timeline and a script and a scene list and then we'd shoot little videos to make into mini movies. So yeah, I had a, this doing this video kind of brought back a lot of memories of like how we would used to go out and shoot videos back when I was in, you know, grade 10, 11, 12. Another thing that's been kind of resonating with me a lot is like, I watched this YouTuber named David Jones and he's from New Zealand and he has a sick channel, like he snowboards, he skates, he surfs, he does a lot of DIY stuff as well, but he does cool little funny entertaining videos, which you can tell were fun when he made them. And like, David's from New Zealand and I feel like New Zealand is like, not the most biggest place to be as a YouTube uh, creator type of person. I don't know if that sentence made sense, but it's like 2.43 in the morning and I'm just finishing editing, but yeah. He kind of did his own thing on YouTube and now he has like 500k subs. So I'm trying to go further with YouTube as I always tell you guys, I'm trying to like push forward. And yeah, I want to do more creative videos. So please let me know if you guys enjoyed this one. But yeah, rest in peace, Steve Irwin. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.